After finding a robot dog that has escaped from a secret base, a young man begins to be chased by the army and will need the help of the android animal to survive. Today we're going to recap the story of the 2018 movie, AXL. At Crane Laboratories, a company that supplies weapons to the army, the chief designer named Andrik is trying to create a war dog called Axel, when during the first phase of testing, the prototype goes out of control and ends up escaping from the lab. To retrieve it, the man asks the assistant engineer to release the drones that begin searching for the lost creature. While his devices are searching, Andrik receives a call from Captain Alicia Weber, the army representative who hired Crane to build the AXL, tired of waiting. The woman says that the demonstration will take place in two days and asks for immediate access to the prototype, but as the drones haven't found it yet, Andrik has to string the American army along until they recover Axel. Without imagining what is happening, a young man called Miles is taking part in a motocross race when, at the last corner, he ends up being hit by another competitor and falls off the bike with such force that his chain splits in half. Frustrated, Miles carries the vehicle to his father and asks for the extra chain, but Chuck replies that that was already the spare and now they don't have any. In order to continue in the race, the man goes to the pit of another team's competitor and asks if they have a chain to replace the broken one. Even though they are rivals, Sam, the driver who knocked Miles down, agrees to help and asks one of the employees to deliver the object, but the team boss refuses to help, saying that he only has one left and that they will need it for the next race. At a loss for what to do, they return to the pits while being followed by Sarah, one of Sam's team members who has decided to pick up a hidden chain and give it to Miles on her own, allowing him to fix the bike for the next race. After the start, Sam stayed in the lead for most of the time, until as they neared the end, Miles managed to overtake him and take first place, winning the last race of the day. After the dispute, Chuck and his son are storing the tools in the van when Sam shows up to invite the young man to a party at his house. As he has to work the next morning, Miles refuses the invitation and Chuck waits for his opponent to leave to try to convince his son to go, because according to him, Sam's father has a lot of contacts, and if they manage to make friends, maybe they can get a sponsor so they don't have to ask for chains next time. Convinced by his father, Miles goes to the party where Sam and his friends are doing stunts and broadcasting everything live. To show off in front of everyone, Sam takes an industrial blowtorch and asks his friend to burn it while he sets fire to an abandoned car, but Miles doesn't feel comfortable and decides to go somewhere else while no one is looking. From the pool, Sarah sees the young man leaving and decides to go after him, finding him in the garage with Sam's motorcycle collection. After staying late at the party with the girl, Miles goes home and starts washing his bike on the sidewalk when Sam passes by and invites him to record some videos on the track. Even though he's sleepy, the young man accepts and does several maneuvers one after the other, but when he decides to take a break, Sam is responsible for distracting him while his friends open the bike's tank and pour in several cans of energy drink. Unaware that he has been sabotaged, Miles starts the vehicle and goes for another maneuver, but when he reaches the end of the ramp, the bike stops working and he ends up losing control during the jump, crashing to the ground. While Miles writhes in pain, Sam only cares about the recording and leaves as soon as he realizes that the images are good, leaving only half a gallon of gasoline and some clothes for the young man. Even in pain, Chuck's son gets up and empties the tank, putting in the new gas and trying to start the bike, but while he's doing everything he can to get it started, he hears strange sounds coming from inside an old container and decides to go closer to see what's going on. Frightened, Miles approaches apprehensively and enters the metal structure where he meets Axel who marks him as the new target. Desperate, the young man runs to the motorcycle and manages to start it, driving away as fast as he can, but instead of leaving, the genius has the idea of going back to see the creature again, and is surprised by it. With almost half a ton of steel rushing towards him, Miles speeds up as fast as he can and uses the abandoned buildings to try to lose Axel, causing the creature to hit a truck. Even so, the cyberpunk dog is still after him and Miles decides to jump down a ramp, causing Axel to activate boost to try and catch up with him in the air. Because of this, the dog ends up making a mistake and flips over at an absurd speed, crashing into some hardware. From afar, Miles hears Axel's sounds of pain and decides to go closer to see what has happened, finding the robot badly damaged and with a steel beam through its shoulder. As the young man approaches, Axel becomes even more stressed and his self-destruct protocol begins, but with less than a second left, Miles manages to reassure the android dog, which cancels the explosion. With the creature calmer, the young man pulls the object through his arm and is automatically put on Axel's list of trusted people, who send his software to the young man's cell phone. Looking at the application, Miles sees that the dog needs maintenance and takes it into the container, spending the whole night repairing it with a kit and some parts from his own motorcycle, as well as using the rest of the gasoline to refuel it. 
Able to walk again, Axel gets out of the container and starts sniffing Miles, who decides to take his muzzle off. Finally free, the dog asks to play and starts running around the abandoned buildings with the human, but while they're having fun, the crane drones manage to locate them and one of the engineers suggests deactivating the robot. Observing his creation's interaction with the human, Andrik realizes how many things Axel has learned from the young man and decides to leave the two of them alone for a while longer, connecting the cameras in the dog's eyes for monitoring. At home, Sam is watching the video they made the day before when Sarah shows up asking for the exact location of where they left Miles, going to the abandoned building to look for him. As soon as he hears the girl's voice, Axel goes into defense mode and rushes towards the vehicle, jumping on the bed and breaking the truck while trying to hit Sarah. Desperate, Miles runs towards the two and manages to calm the dog down, making it see the girl as part of the team. After this, the trio are camping when Sarah says that Axel must have been created by the armed forces and tries to convince Miles that they should return it, but the young man argues that the robot is full of bullet holes in the bodywork and that they weren't taking good care of it, so he has no intention of giving it back. Back in Crane, the engineer begins to check the young men data and discovers that they both have financial difficulties, suggesting that they will accept any amount they offer, but Andrik insists that they should leave them with the robot, as it learns new things every second it spends with humans, greatly advancing the research work. The next morning, Axel unhooks Sarah's truck and the three of them set off for town, but as no one can know about the dog, Miles covers it with a tarpaulin and starts to fuel up the vehicle. While the young man scavenges coins from the glove compartment, Axel hacks into the pump system and releases the fuel, filling the tank without them having to spend a penny. To top it off, the robot hacks the ATM and makes it spit out all the bills inside, giving them more than $1,000 and forcing them to flee before they attract the attention of the police. At home, Sarah's mother asks Sam if he knows where her daughter is and the young man shows her location in real time, offering to go there himself to see if she's alright. Unaware that Sam is coming, the girl takes Miles and Axel to an abandoned building where she usually does graffiti and tells them that the robot can be hidden there. Impressed by the drawings, Miles asks Sarah to show him some more of her art and the girl decides to graffiti a feather, which ends up making Axel assimilate the figure with Crane's symbol and start projecting a sort of instruction manual on the wall. After the hologram ends, the robot ejects the admin control and Miles places his thumb on the fingerprint reader that pierces his finger, using the blood to pair him as the new admin and owner. Just then, Sam arrives at the place and Sarah asks the others to hide while she talks to him, but during the discussion, the spoiled teenager starts to get aggressive with the girl and Miles shows up to defend her. For no reason, Sam starts making fun and tries to punch him, but the young man manages to dodge and Axel jumps on the aggressor. With Sam immobilized, Miles asks the robot to take him to the truck and starts threatening him never to go near the girl again, leaving Sam terrified. After making him promise to leave everyone alone, Miles allows him to leave and thanks Axel for defending him, but Sarah is not at all happy with what has happened and starts saying that he has ruined her life. According to the girl, her mother works for Sam's family and they both live in his house, so now he can fire them and they'll have nowhere else to go. Understanding the complexity of the situation, Miles asks her to go after him and try to apologize, but Sarah rejects the idea and says it's better that they resolve the Axel situation first. She suggests they go home and tell Chuck what's going on, but for some reason Miles decides to leave the robot alone even though Sam knows its location. At home, the two explain to Chuck everything they've discovered about the dog, while Sam takes his friends to do a live show of the robot for everyone. With a gallon of fuel, the young man starts whistling and manages to get the robot's attention, but as Miles has asked him not to hurt Sam, Axel doesn't take any aggressive action. Apprehensive, Sam asks his friend to record, while he makes a trail of gasoline in front of the dog. Wondering where this is going, Andrik sends two teams of agents to rescue Axel, but they are still a long way off and will take more than two hours to arrive. Back in the abandoned building, Sam throws a ball in the dog's direction to get him to come closer and picks up the blowtorch to burn the gasoline. Analyzing the object, Axel manages to identify that it is a weapon, but still does nothing to defend himself, standing still while the two approach. At home, Miles asks his father what they should do and he suggests that they return the creature, but while they are arguing, Sarah sees Sam's live and interrupts them saying that they should go back as soon as possible, making the young man leave and leave the admin key behind. With no one to stop him, Sam turns on the blowtorch and sets fire to the gasoline, which explodes right under the robot, damaging the system and putting it into safety mode. With what little energy he has left, Axel communicates with the two via cell phone and gives them the location of a workshop where they can start cleaning and repairing. After working all night, the couple manages to reset the robot's circuits, which programs a system reboot for two and a half hours from now, leaving them with nothing to do. 
While the two wait, Chuck is visited by one of Crane's agents who threatens him to enter the house and search it. After confirming that Miles is no longer there, the man asks if Chuck has seen the admin key and he replies that his son's things are in the garage, leaving the agent to search, while he takes the device from the table and hides it in a safe place. With that done, Chuck takes his bow and manages to overpower the employee, disarming him and handcuffing him to a chair. From headquarters, Andrick sees that his agent has been captured and goes into a state of denial, but the engineer is tired of being ignored and takes advantage of the moment of distraction to send an email to Alicia telling her everything that has happened. Unaware that he has been betrayed, Andrick manages to track down Axel and sends his remaining units to capture the three, but while they are searching for the humans, the reboot is completed and the robot begins to attack them. To defend themselves, the agents fire high-voltage weapons that try to overload the dog, forcing Miles to jump on top of the soldier and allowing Sarah to surrender all of them. With the battle over, Axel begins to remember the latest events and goes into hunting mode, abandoning his administrators to go after Sam. Unaware of the danger he's in, Sam stops at the gas station with his friends and is soon overtaken by the dog who is watching everything from the roof, but soon realizes that something is wrong and manages to leave the place before being attacked. So the young man goes straight to a party and starts broadcasting everything live when the cameraman sees Axel on top of the trailer. Panicked, everyone runs for their lives, while Sam decides to hide under a vehicle, but ends up being spotted and does his best not to be crushed by the robot's footsteps. While he's trying to dodge, Miles and Sarah arrive on the scene and distract Axel, allowing Sam to run up to the flamethrower and use it to defend himself. However, the torch runs out of fuel after a few seconds and the robot can attack again, forcing Miles to jump in front of it to save the bully. Hearing his admin's voice, Axel finally manages to calm down and comes out of hunting mode, but before they can leave, they are met by drones that stick to the robot's body, electrocuting its bodywork and leaving it incapacitated. As Sam flees, Crane's agents appear and handcuff both Axel and the humans, knocking them out and taking them to their laboratory. Without access to the prototype because of the key, Andrick asks Miles where the access is and shows Sarah tied to a chair, saying that if he refuses to cooperate, neither of them will get out alive. At that moment, he orders the engineer to bring the girl to them and creates a force field around her, warning that if she leaves the delimited area, Axel is programmed to attack without mercy. Desperate, the girl runs out of the box and manages to grab a flashlight without getting bitten, using the light to draw a feather like the one she made on the wall. Even reprogrammed, Sarah's movements make the robot remember them again and break free of its restraints, allowing the humans to flee while it confronts Andrick. Despite being its creator, the man no longer has any control and runs outside where he is surrendered by the armed forces. Thinking they've come to help, Andrick says they're on the same side and warns them that Axel is still inside, but the men don't listen and handcuff the chief designer, making him realize he's been betrayed. Inside, Miles manages to reach his motorcycle and says goodbye to Sarah who decides to give herself up, staying behind to distract the enemies. Sacrificing herself for the man she loves, the girl surrenders and is captured for interrogation, but while the soldiers put the handcuffs on, Miles takes advantage of their distraction and jumps out of the building, fleeing in a northerly direction while the army uses helicopters and other resources to catch up with them. While fleeing through the mountains, Axel begins to scan the terrain and discovers that they are heading straight for a cliff and that if they don't stop in time, they will fall more than 180 meters. Even so, the two friends don't give up and accelerate as fast as they can, suffering a nasty fall into the abyss. When he gets up, Axel realizes that Miles' arm is broken and decides to sacrifice himself to save the administrator, saving all the data in the cloud and activating the self-destruct, while running towards the helicopter. At this point, the drones reach the robot and begin to electrocute it, but Axel doesn't give up and continues to lure the aircraft away from Miles. When he gets to a safe distance from the young man, the dog starts the countdown and stares at the admin for a few seconds, then turns towards the helicopter and detonates it. After the explosion, the soldiers surrender Miles and decide that they need compensation for all the risk they have suffered, paying for a scholarship for the two of them at Robotics College. Living together, the two adopt a husky puppy and go for a weekend at the beach, but during their break, Miles receives an envelope from his father containing the administrator key and decides to touch the fingerprint reader, causing the application to be installed on both their cell phones and activating the assembly module. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you like the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.